Now that we have the weather data from the service inside our weather list, let's use some ionic components to make it look better. I'll start with an ion list to wrap each ion item that will contain the city weather. So in order to loop through each city weather within our list, I'm going to use the Angular 2 NG4 directive. The star represents that it's going to create a new template for this directive and that it's going to create a new variable called weather that will be accessible within our HTML page. For each city, I'm going to put a thumbnail image on the left side with a graphic of the current weather. Luckily, Open Weather Map makes this easy, and we can just specify which weather graphic we want to show by passing in the weather dot icon. Let's also add in the current temperature, which is main dot temp, the city name, which is weather dot name, and the low and the high. On the right side, let's add a ionic icon with a right arrow that will indicate that the user can click on it to learn more. In this case, they're going to be able to view the forecasts when they click on it. So let's write that click handler function and we'll pass in the local weather variable. And let's implement that in our class. So it takes the local weather variable and we'll just console out to confirm that this is working. Now let's go back to our app and try entering a couple cities to make sure this works. Even try clicking one of the rows in the table and you should see the console message. And in the next video we'll implement the view forecast.